Well, what started, what started as a shaky morning for one of the most beloved days of the Coast Guard Festival actually turned out to be a beautiful one. 13 on your side, Ottawa County reporter Keely Levern is joining us live from Grand Haven, where they just wrapped up the parade of ships, which actually was delayed by a few hours. Keely, what caused that delay? Good afternoon, Kirk. It is a beautiful afternoon here in Grand Haven, and it started off pretty yucky. If you joined us for noon, I was with you, Kirk, as well. We were out on the pier and the waves were crashing up. There was a National Weather Service warning, double red flags out on the beach. So the conditions, they weren't really sure. And that's what made them postpone the parade of ships starting usually at one o'clock. Today, it started at three o'clock. But as you can see, we've got three beautiful ships here. It was a major success today. So we've got two Coast Guard cutters and another smaller ship all made their way into the pier and docked here in Grand Haven today. And this is where families will have the chance to walk on board. You can tour all of the ships for for free all throughout the festival. Really a fun experience for you and your family. Coast Guard personnel and leaders say they're glad that the weather finally came around and the ships could dock safely. Um, you know, we want everybody to have a good time. We want everybody to be safe, though. Safety is always priority, right? So mooring a ship in heavy winds and in potential seas, um, even with inside the, the river here, um, there's potential for, you know, hazards to be there. So uh, the decision was made, you know, for the public safety and for the safety of the ships and the crews. If we postpone the entry of the ships by two hours, we should have some better weather here in town so folks can actually get out of their house and enjoy the parade of ships. So again, you can come take a tour of all three of the ships down here at Escamana Park in Grand Haven for the remainder of that festival. Now, Coast Guard Festival events continue tonight with the Rock and Hop 50s and 60s music concert. I will be hosting that tonight on the main stage at the Waterfront Stadium. That all starts at 730. Tickets are still available if you want to come out and join us for $15. You can also buy those on the Coast Guard Festival website. That's the latest for now. Join us back here at 730 if you want to make it out for this beautiful evening. I'm Keely Lovern reporting live in Grand Haven for 13 on your side.